So you've probably clicked on this video just because you want to know how to actually do cold showers without looking like this. And instead, you want to look like this. And that is possible by using these easy steps to actually get into cold showers and learn how to properly do them without looking like it was over there. So first I have to start off with why would we even do cold showers? This is of course already a well known topic. People want to do cold showers because they know it's very healthy. It has a lot of benefits on your mind, muscle and body. And they just want to do it because they like it. It gives a lot of dopamine and it makes you be able to do a lot more on a day. And this is absolutely true because cold showers have a lot of benefits, but they're very hard to get into because the first time of your cold shower, you're probably looking like that guy. And you want to look like that guy that actually tries to enjoy it a little bit and tries to stay calm. So this is what worked for me and this is what's still working for me to this day. Cold showers have been well known because a person called Tim Hof. He has basically introduced cold showers to the world because not a lot of people were doing that. And cold therapy is very well known by this point for blood circulation, for better breathing, for being more calm and stable in life, for being able to be more productive because of a high dopamine and all the other benefits that comes with it like body benefits and muscle benefits and you want to do the cold showers without looking like the wolves over there and you want to look like an actual chat doing the cold showers and actually get the benefits without looking like an absolute pussy this is how to do it and how to get the full maximum benefits of cold showers this is what worked for me and i hope it will work for you as well so step one take off your clothes whoa that seemed a bit aggressive step two get into the cold shower and scream like a little girl not just kidding let's actually get into the steps to, on how to properly do cold showers and get used to it in a proper way that you don't look like that little girl. So let's talk about taking your first cold shower. It's essential to ease yourself into it. This is because when you ease yourself into it, so gradually getting colder and colder and colder in your shower, that's the way to easily get into cold showers without instantly going in hypothermia or stressing the body too much or just passing out because of the pain. People have done that by the way. So how did I do this? I started with a, just a regular shower, a little bit colder than normal already, but I started off with a regular shower. I just gradually changed it to a cold shower. So the first time I went in a cold shower, I did about 10, sec 10 seconds in the cold. But that worked for me at that point. Then start by gradually increasing the duration of your cold showers. Start making the cold showers longer, longer, longer until you hit like three minutes. And then you just instantly go into the cold. So instead of just gradually warm to cold and then go three minutes or longer, just instantly go in the cold. This is to shock the body. Shocking the body from the cold shower is one of the most important parts of the cold shower in my opinion and in my experience. It was is the best part because you shock the body instantly and then it f starts feeling kind of amazing like there's a fire bu building inside of you. Cold showers feel the best in the morning. So start doing them in the morning and don't scream too hard of course because then your parents will wake up. We all know the positive benefits of a cold shower. I already talked about it in the beginning and you already know them because of a lot of guys. Because literally everyone in the self improvement phase talks about them. So why do I talk about them in a different way? I'm talking about my own experience, not about someone else's experience. This is my own experience. Because my own experience with cold showers is that I, they are amazing. Especially in the morning. I would recommend doing them in the morning mostly or in the afternoon. Not after afternoon because of sleep reasons. Also, what's really amazing for me, and this is what no one talks about. It can cure my sickness. Now, I get sick quite often somehow. I don't know why I'm just allergic or something. And I can feel like kind of uh, having a very heavy cold one day and the next day it's gone. And what I do is I take cold showers when I can, as long as I'm not too sick, so this is your own feeling. As long as you're not too sick, try to take the cold shower. It will boost your immune system, it will boost basically everything in your body. Which means uh, you'll be able to be less sick on that day and even get uh, rid of the sickness entirely way faster than you would without the cold shower. This is the same with uh, when you have like a tight muscle, humidity building up in your muscle, you know, when it's like really painful and it's getting very thick. So let's say I have a very thick uh, elbow or something. Cold showers are amazing for that as well. They will get the humidity out of it there, which means that it will get less and less and less. And it's gonna ease the pain way faster than most things that you could do. Because most people when they have like a tight muscle or tight neck, they take a warm shower. And this is actually a mistake most of the times. It of course depends on your feeling, right? But for me, when I have a tight neck, I take a cold shower, it eases the pain and it will even get rid of the tightness. This is really important. and. I don't know if this is scientifically researched, this is bro science by the way, 
but this really works for me as well so that's our extra benefits i have on my cold showers so definitely take that in mind when doing them so congratulations you learned how to do your first cold shower without screaming like a little girl and actually take them like a man like harmless this is really important and one extra step to take in the cold showers and this is really important as well meditate when you meditate, you learn how to control your breathing and be present. Which means, when doing the cold shower, you can focus on your breathing. Which means, you wouldn't have a such a hard time with the cold. So definitely take meditation in consideration. So start doing cold showers to be more productive in life. To do more in the gym. To do more with your business. And to do more in overall life. To be happier and have a better life overall. Which is what this channel is about. As you can see, I'm taking a kind of a turn to more of a skit channel. I know in self-improvement, it's usual just talking to the camera. I want to take more skits into this I want to actually make this channel more fun So definitely subscribe Because self-improvement is supposed to be fun If you learn self-improvement in a fun way It's way easier to absorb it Than just a guy talking into a camera There are so many people That do the self-improvement YouTube And I think I'm taking a different turn on this It's gonna be much, much better On this space So definitely subscribe, like and put on the bell notification And work hard every day, be proud of yourself every day And I will see you later